How was the shoot? <clears throat> it was, uh, you know, good. You know, I'm never a good judge. Uh, the Cartulo people seemed really happy. Good. They need to be. They're the ones paying the bills. Coffee? Yes. Straight, please. You try dealing with you unassisted. Have you heard anything about my trip? We're still working on the dates. Oh, gosh. Late night? Murphy asked me to marry him. Proposed. I know, but I think it's just because he's so famous right now. I mean, you know, he's going through that time period where he feels like he can't trust anyone, and I think he just wants to feel like there's somebody real in his life, and I happen to be sitting right in front of him, so he picked me. Well, so are congratulations in order? No, I haven't given him an answer yet. <sighs> you are either showing remarkable restraint or you're certifiable. I can tell. Murphy is a, a, a movie star and an actual human being. That's a rare combination. Oh, no, he really is a decent, decent human being. I like him. And he likes me. I mean, I think we work really well together. Oh, well. That sounds more like a merger than a romance. Exactly. You know what I do love about him, though? I love that he doesn't try to make any big romantic gestures to impress me. You know, it's like he's just sweet and sincere, and I think he just wants to feel like there's somebody in his life who he can count on. Oh, gosh. I actually feel like I can count on him, too. So why haven't you said yes? Um, I do honestly care about Murphy. I, I could very easily love him. But he doesn't deserve it. <sighs> Forget what you could very easily do. You either love the man or you don't. Well, I just said that I could love him. There would just be something that was always missing. And what would that be? My heart. somewhere else. Oh. Well, this uh, other man, is he a realistic option? <laughs> no, he's not. We've been out of each other's lives for a really long time. And if I was with Murphy, my heart would be divided most of the time. And he just, <sighs> he doesn't deserve that, even though he actually said that he could handle it. I, I shouldn't do that to him, right? I wouldn't do that to him. Uh, this man that you're about to drop kick a movie star for, is he alive or dead? I could just make it a short trip and be back in time for the gala. Mm -mm. It's safer to put it off. Yeah. This is about my security. I should be making the calls, right? Cartulo is spending a lot of money on your fabulous self. That means you need to be on the red carpet at the gala on time. Not emailing apologies because you're stuck on oh, some Oh, okay, all right, okay, okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. That happened once, uh, twice. Yes. And the second time, you can't blame on me because it's completely random, Typhoons. That's not my fault. <laughs> We need Cartulo's funding. That means you need to be in Rome for the gala. The trip can wait. How long? Until your calendar opens up and, and I can arrange for appropriate security. Oh, see, it is about the security. You just want to put me in front of a bunch of bodyguards that I, I you know, that makes me crazy. I don't Why don't you around. ask Murphy? Maybe you can borrow a couple of his. Oh, no, you're going to throw subtle hints out about how I should marry Murphy. Now we're supposed to share everything? I'm not going to share his bodyguards. If the only thing that's keeping you from wedded bliss with Murphy is an old flame, maybe it's time for some closure. Oh, wow. That 
is heavy. I mean, I should just stop thinking about him. Why didn't I think of that? How long has it been since you've seen this man? Seven years since <laughs> February. But who's counting? Well, I just bumped into an old friend in Africa last month and she suggested that I should call him. Then call him. Call him and wish him well and close the door forever. So you can put some closure on it and get on with your life. <laughs>